Hello and welcome back to the course. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about adding a page of text to your app. And part of the tutorial is going to be showing you how to access multiple screens within your app and how to code those blocks correctly. And just so we're all on the same page here, what we're trying to do is take this About Us button, and when the user clicks that About Us button, it's going to take us to a brand new screen on our app that'll have a page of text explaining what Android Events is all about. So let's get started with the components. And the first thing we're going to do is add another screen. We've got two screens here, our screen one, which is the screen you're looking at. We've got our QR code screen, and then we're going to add one more screen. And we're going to call this screen the About Us screen. And now we see our About Us screen is the one that's highlighted green here, so that's how you know you're on the right screen. And we're going to simply add two components. We're going to add a button, and we're going to change the text to that to back. And the second component we're going to use is an image component. I'm going to be honest with you right now and tell you that we're going to cheat a little bit on our page of text here. We're actually going to use a pre-created image as our text. The reason I'm doing this is because the text functionality within App Inventor is actually not very good quite yet. And so if you want to offer a page of text to your users, you would be much better off using some sort of image editing software to create the text yourself and then just plug it in as an image. I'm really not a huge fan of the color selection within App Inventor at this point. And also the fonts that are available are not very good as well. That's why I'm using this image. And as always, you can download the image right from your course. But we're going to go up to the picture area here, and we're going to add our what's called a page of text copy is what it's called. And you'll see that in your course. And we'll click OK. And we'll see that our Android events page of text shows up here. And just so you know, I created this image, and the width of it is 315 pixels, and the height going up and down is actually 385 pixels. You can always play around with those a little bit, but I found that 310 to 315 pixels wide will actually fit you nicely within the screen for most phones. That's why I used that. And then for the length, you can just play around with it. If you want it to be so long that the user can scroll down, you can just make it longer than this components viewer right here. Uh, I actually wanted everything to fit right in the screen so the user doesn't have to scroll. So 385 pixels high worked well for me. Okay, so we've got our page of text all set up. Now let's go ahead and do the blocks for this. I'm actually going to start by going back to screen one here. And then I'll pull up my blocks editor. And what I'm trying to do here is that when we click the About Us button, which we'll find under the My Blocks tab, we've got our About Us button. And when that is clicked, we want that to bring us to a new screen. How we tell App Inventor what screen to go to is actually under the Built In tab. And if you find the Control Drawer, you'll find down here that you can pull out this block that says open another screen and then you'll see on the right side it says screen name so essentially we just need to tell app inventor what the name of the screen is that we want to open and in this instance we're just going to use a text block and remember we called this the about us screen and we had no spaces in there so that's how we'll write it so now when we click on the about us button we'll be taken to this about us screen right here we were back on screen one and i'm going to show you this right now the blocks editor will actually open up essentially a fresh page for you depending on which screen you're on so we've got a qr code screen and about us screen and screen one so let me just show you screen one again and we've got all these blocks here that we've coded previously now if we go to the about us screen you're going to see that we have a fresh page here because it's essentially a new app and we're just having App Inventor talk back and forth between the different screens. That being said, let's take a look at our components viewer here. So we're on our About Us screen and we've got our page of text here that the user can read. I also added this back button so that when the user clicks this back button, it'll take them back to screen one. So let's go ahead and code those blocks right now and then we'll be done with this section. So we want to go find our button, and in this case, I actually didn't rename the button, so it's just called button one. So when button one is clicked, 
what are we going to do? We're going to close this screen. So again, you're going to want to go back to the built-in tab and the control drawer. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find this block called close screen. So when button one is clicked, which is actually our back button, we want to close the screen. And that's all you need to do.